Hi, my name is Carmi Felwalk, and I'm here at the 2012 San Diego Christian Film Festival. Next to me is David Nixon. Hi, David. Hi. David just got finished doing a workshop, and we'd like to find out what it's about. Yes, we just did a workshop upstairs on uh, distribution, uh, theatrical distribution, for faith-based films. Because, you know, 10 years ago, you couldn't get distribution for a Christian film. And so I kind of told the story of how we made Facing the Giants, which kind of opened the door uh, for those kind of films. And then we followed that up with Fireproof and kind of went through all those stories of how we got those into theaters and how well they did. Why do you choose to make faith-based movies? Well, uh, I love to make movies, mm -hmm. and I feel that God has given me that talent for a reason. Mm -hmm. So I'd much rather use my talents to tell the gospel than just to make any kind of movie. So to me, uh, I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't want to make a movie that didn't have a message like that. Can you tell us what your favorite movie is? Well, uh, I've got so many favorite movies growing up. Uh, interestingly enough, I think the movie that got me into making movies was Bush Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but as a kid I saw that movie and that just, I don't know, it just struck me that that was cool and it was a western and so that got me into making movies. But over the years there's just been so many great movies. I think probably my favorite faith-based movie would be Chariots of Fire. Uh, that just was so well done, won the Academy Award. It, it wasn't overt, but it, got, it had such a great, great message. Can you tell us a little bit about your faith? I'm originally from Sydney, Australia. My parents are missionaries in Australia, mm -hmm. and I grew up in a Christian home. I came to the Lord when I was seven years old, and my dad was a bush pilot in the outback. So as a kid, I used to fly with him all through the, out the outback and land in little dusty towns. He'd bring the gospel to a little town like that. Very cool. Very evangelistic. Very evangelistic. In fact, the reason that he used the airplane was that it would make such a ruckus that everybody would come out and see what's going on, and he would taxi right up to the pub, which is usually the center of town, and have a gospel meeting right in the pub. So you can imagine, you know, the, the craziness that ensued from that. And it was an amazing thing to grow up in a family like that, that we totally lived by faith. We didn't know where the next paycheck was coming from, you know, but that was just normal to us. And my dad traveled as an evangelist all over Australia and Indonesia, and I, I got to travel with him. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing, amazing upbringing to see my dad, who's my hero, mm -hmm. do those kind of things. And it kind of instilled in me, you know, a purpose. You know, I knew from a, an early age that I've been put on this earth for a reason. I didn't know what it was. But then by God giving me talents, mm -hmm. I got it that I should be using those talents for him. And so he's been able to open doors that I never would have seen coming uh, to enable me to make Christian films. And those films have gone on around the world to touch millions of lives. Now, are you working on anything right now? Yes, we've just finished a movie called Renee, which is the true story behind an Internet phenomenon called To Write Love on Her Arms. Mm -hmm. which is a true story about a girl that got into cutting mm -hmm. and, uh, and how she was kind of saved. She was going to commit suicide, mm -hmm. but she was saved by five Christians who took her in and saved her life, basically. And that created a whole huge phenomenon online now called To Write Love on Her Arms. And so we just finished that movie. And right now we're in pre-production for uh, a basketball movie called The Rivalry, which is another true story that is kind of like The Blind Side times 10. Okay. And it's a true story about a black family that lost their mother and father mm -hmm. uh, with five kids and a white family that took the kids in. Mm -hmm. And the oldest girl was the best basketball pal player in high school. Her best friend was a white girl in the, the family that brought them in. And so the two girls who are best friends on the basketball team, became sisters, even though one is white and one is black. Mm -hmm. And they went on to win the national championship. Mm -hmm. And last year, they played against each other. One went to uh, Florida State University and the other went to Duke. Mm -hmm. And apparently this is the first time that two sisters have ever played each other in a collegiate uh, championship. And so we're telling that story, we're calling it the rivalry, mm -hmm. about those two girls being good friends and then becoming sisters and then becoming rivals, basically. Oh, that sounds great. And when are you going to start that, or when is it going to be released? We're hoping to shoot that next summer. So we're in pre-production right now, writing the screenplay and getting everything ready uh, to shoot that in Orlando next summer. Okay. And this is the San Diego Christian Film Festival. Have you been to one of these before? I've been to film festivals before. Uh, nothing like this one. The venue is fabulous here. This old, old, restored theater is just amazing. Usually, film festivals, there are you know, lots of different theaters all over the place, and they don't have... 
this feeling of being in one place, this campus, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I love that. And, and it's such nostalgic to watch a movie in this huge big theater with all the beautiful woodwork and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of fun. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate you taking the time with us. Again, this is the San Diego Christian Film Festival in sunny San Diego, and this is David Nixon.